Today I just want to share with you some info on a new issue that has come to light with the DJI FPV drone and updating the DJI FlySafe database. Now just to be clear up front, if you do have an FPV drone and you haven't updated the FlySafe database, don't do it a minute. Hold back because people who have tried to update over the last couple of days have ended up with a bricked aircraft and they have not been able to fly. Now, just to explain this issue in a little bit more detail, people over the last few days have been getting prompts to update the FlySafe database on their FPV drone. Now, if you don't know what the FlySafe database is, it is the information within the drone that locates all of the NFCs, the no-fly zones, and it tells the drone where you're allowed to fly and where you're not allowed to fly. Now, DJI have this on pretty much all of their drones and they update it periodically to make sure that you have the latest info in your drone where the DJI FlySafe databases are located and where the zones are located and if there are new ones added or some taken away. Now, it seems people since about the 7th of May started to get prompts to update their FlySafe database either in Assistant 2 and the version of Assistant 2 at the time was version 2.1.0 or via the fly app and after doing that update their aircraft was blocked from taking off and they were receiving a fly safe database error in their goggles now since then dji have quietly pushed out an update to assistant 2 which is now version 2.1.1 that seems to have resolved that issue because i actually updated mine on the new version of assistant and it has gone through absolutely fine however I wouldn't advise updating a second and I'll talk about that a little bit more in a minute. Now, if we just jump over to the DJI forum, there is a post on this that has been put together and people first of all started to see this issue around the 7th of May. And what, as I said, they're getting is FlySafe database error in their goggles. So they're getting this error down here and they're being prevented from taking off. Now, some people have found a way around it by actually blocking the GPS, but for the most part there's a fly safe database error you cannot fly at all now people have tried pretty much everything they can to get around this they've tried refreshing the firmware they've tried reloading the database but nothing has resolved it at this time they remain in a situation where their drone is stuck and they're not actually able to fly now as i mentioned just now DJI have quietly pushed out a new version of Assistant 2. When you go to their website, it still says the latest version is version 2.1.0. However, if you try to update today, you should receive a prompt that looks like this one here that asks you to update date your assistant to the latest version for the new FlySafe database and I actually did this tonight and I ended up with version 2.1.1. When I did this it also updated the database in my FPV drone and mine has updated absolutely fine and I've been given no problems at all. However, other people are not in this position and they are still blocked from flying. Now, right now, there has been no real fix for the people who have this problem. DJI have been posting on their forum and taking logs from people, but those who have had their FPV drone locked out don't seem to have found a fix for this at the moment. It does seem, from my own experience, that if you update today with the latest assistant, on PC or Mac, which is version 2.11, it updates fine and it doesn't give any problems. However, I wouldn't be 100% on that and my personal advice right now is not to update. Now, what I think has happened here is DJI have pushed out an update for the FlySafe database that had either corruption in it or it wasn't suitable for the version of the assistant and the apps people were using and it's ended up damaging the FlySafe database in the drone. We have seen this happen in the past. Then as a safety feature, the drone prevents you from taking off and you're not able to fly. Now, hopefully DJI will be able to push out a fix for these users via firmware to allow them to be able to fly. However, that hasn't happened as of today. All they have actually done is taken feedback and quietly pushed out the update to Assistant 2, which I suspect solves the issue from happening to people who haven't updated yet, but doesn't fix the issue for those who have. 
us for what the situation is moving forward right now we simply don't know those who are stuck remain stuck and we're waiting for dji to resolve it hopefully this isn't fundamental and it should be able to be fixed via a software update hopefully that they'll push out in the near future but if you do have a bricked fpv drone i would suggest opening a ticket with dji now and getting that process started just in case we don't see a fix in the next couple of days as for time scales with how long dji can take to fix these kind of things it is how long is a length of string we have seen issues like this resolved in one to two days before and we've seen issues like this still be there one to two months later the fact that they have pushed out quietly and an update for the assistant too does tell you that they are aware of this one and hopefully for the users stuck they will get an update out shortly to be able to fix it this is the first issue that we have seen with dji and it is our uh the dji fpv drone i should say and it is ironic it is a result of one of their nfc database updates um hopefully though we should get a fix for this in the near future if you haven't updated yet the safest position to be in right now is ignore it if you get prompts on your phone via the goggles or you get prompts in assistant don't do it here and now wait and see what happens and then hopefully they'll have a fix for the existing users in the near future now that is it for this one it was just a quick update as i said it's been developing over the last couple of days i had been tracking it but it's got to the stage now where people are talking about it and i had a user message me to say look we're, we're stuck here is there anything anyone can do so i thought i'd put the video out on it and put a warning out on this one now when there is an update and when there is a fix i will put out a quick video on it as well to share with you guys just to put you in the loop on that one as well.